An inequality is a sentence with infinite solutions. So before we were working with equations where there's just one solution, like x equals 5. An inequality has infinite solutions such as x is greater or less than 5 or greater than or equal to 5. So this, this is called the less than symbol. It looks like an L. This is the less than or equal to symbol. This is the greater than symbol. And this is the greater than or equal to. If there's a line underneath, that's kind of part of an equation, so that's how I remember that it's equal to. Any number that makes an inequality true is a solution. That's why there's infinite number of solutions. For example, a solution to the inequality y is greater than 7 would be 8 because a is greater than 7. So how I remember this symbol is, see how the 8 has two dots on it, and the 7 has one? That's how we know that 8 is greater than 7. When we graph an, ine an inequality on the number line, I try to put um, the number in the middle of the line, and I also try to include 0 on it. So if I have y, this is red, y is less than 3. So I'm going to put an open dot. You're going to use an open dot when it's greater or less than. Open dots look like a literally open circle. And you're going to use a closed dot for greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So the first one is y is less than 3. So I'm going to use an open dot. So I'm going to mark 3, open dot, and then I'm going to put 0 over here. So this is saying, <clears throat> if you had to compare 3 and y, 3 would be greater than y. So numbers that are less than 3 are going this way. So I shade it, and then I put an arrow. The arrow means it keeps going infinitely that way. Example B, you put the number in the middle because it's an open dot, mark negative 1, 0 is going to be right here. Now this is all numbers, x is bigger than negative 1, so this way, and put an arrow. And then C, I put a closed dot at negative 2. And then 0 would be over here. And it's a is less than negative 2. So numbers that are less than negative 2 are negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and those numbers on that side. And then d, this is kind of a tricky one. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want you to be confused that this is a less than symbol, so you're shading to the left. That's not correct. We still put negative 6, a closed dot, because it's less than or equal to. But which one is greater, g or negative 6? g is bigger. So we're going to go with numbers that are bigger than negative 6 go this way. Or what you can do is you can rewrite it as g is greater than or equal to negative 6. I switch the variables, which means that I have to switch the sign too. There's still two dots on G. So either way, you can't just, because there's a le less than symbol, you can't change, just shade it left. Okay, we'll do a few more here. So I have negative 5. It's, so I'm going to put a closed dot because it's greater than or equal to. It's got that equal to symbol at negative 5. 0 would be over here. Closed dot, these numbers are greater than negative 5. Greater goes this way. 0 is greater than negative 5. And letter B, 
I put an open dot at four. Zero would be over here. This again, four is greater than T. T is less than four. So if four is greater than T, numbers that are less than four are over here. So I put an arrow. And now we can work backwards. So to work backwards, what you do is you put your variable, so let it be x. And these numbers are greater, so I'm going to, they're going to the right, so I'm going to put a greater than symbol. As long as I put my variable on the left hand side, I can always just do if it's going to the right, it's greater. If it's going to the left, it's less. And I know it's just greater because it has an open dot. It's greater than wherever the circle is, the circle's at zero. I put my variable on the left, I put my number where the dot is, negative zero. It's a closed dot, so it's going to have an equal to sign underneath, and it's going to the left, so it's less than or equal to. I put my variable on the left, put my number on the right where the circle is. It's an open dot, so it doesn't have an equal to sign, and it's going to the left, so it's less than. Put my variable on the left, put my number where the circle is on the right. It has an equal to sign because it's a closed dot and it's going to the right so it's greater than. Okay, this is when it can still a little bit tricky in word situations. You still want to put your variable on the left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and write, write the variable on the left hand side. And you're still going to put the number is less than 16 on the right, at least 5 right, 450, 70 miles an hour, everyone in class is over 10 years old. So now the tricky part is really thinking about what symbol we're going to use. So let's look at these keywords. T is less than. So what are numbers that are less than 16? 15, 14, because I wrote the variable on the left hand side, all I have to do is do less than. B, you must be at least 5 feet tall. So can you be 4 feet tall to ride a roller coaster? No. Can you be 6 feet tall and ride the roller coaster? Yes. So we have to be greater than 5 feet. Can you be 5 feet tall and ride the roller coaster? Yes, because at least, at least means greater than or equal to. Because you can be that number. C, you have five, $4.50 to spend on lunch. You can't spend more than $4.50. You have to spend less than. Can you spend $4.50 on lunch? Yeah, you can, because that's how much money you have. If you includes it, you got to put an equal to sign. D, the speed limit is 70 miles per hour. Can you drive over 70? No, there's a limit to it. So you have to be 70 or less, so it's less than or equal to. Everyone in class is over 10 years old. Can you be 10 years old? No, you have to be over, which means greater than.